Alright, YouTube, uh, Dark Designs here, as you can tell from the, uh, wallpaper. Um, thanks for subscribing, and, uh, the first, uh, <coughs> sorry, uh, video is going to be about, uh, all of Photoshop, some basics of it. It's gonna be multiple parts, um, so, uh, let's get started. Alright, um, I'm using the basics of Photoshop, just for extended. Um, over here you have your um, toolbox, which you had the selection tool. Um, and whenever you see a black arrow right here, that means you can do more than one thing. So if you just go over it and right click, you can view multiple things. So these are just selection tools that if you're in a uh, thing, you can make a circle, square, single row going across or going up and down. Um, your lasso tool, which uh, you can go around an image and highlight it by here um let me give you an example so let's just open up um let's say this right here which is uh my entry for single week you can just have the lasso tool and you can go around wherever and just basically free draw and when you stop or let go somewhere it goes right back to that first point and it selects that highlighted area and you can move it wherever do whatever like you can right click and copy that section onto this and if you remove it doesn't really do anything so if you move it though with your selection tool you can actually move that general area that you had just cropped out or you can do other things with it um, polygon it just as it says straight line so there no there's no curves or nothing and uh just to get out of the selection tool you can just right click on the actual image and then hit deselect um magnetic uh follows the outside shape so you can just click and hold it and it quickly will go around except as you can see I was trying to get all of it but it decided to cut off his head right there. So, not the best. It's the best if you're going to render an image using the pen tool, but I'll get to that later. The quick selection tool, you have options up here to, um, you can add to it, subtract, whatever. I'm gonna have the add button, and, uh, let's say I wanna highlight his eye. You can just keep going like that, and just click the points that you want and after you get that let's say I want to make a new layer go to my brush shrink my brush down a lot because that's pretty big and let's make his eyes blue so grab a blue all I did was just double click on that and it brought up that and you can under your new layer have your brush tool selected and go over those parted areas and as you can see it's blue but what you want for the effect is to hit the blending modes up here and go to soft light and that will usually do it or you can just do overlay but that sometimes won't do it you can just mess around with all your layers so if you just click on it you can actually use your arrow keys and it goes through all of them quite faster magic wand tool it selects just one section at a time so let's say I want the eye it'll only do that so if I clicked over here as well it just does that so not that helpful crop let's just get rid of this real quick crop you can um, <coughs> crop out your selected areas so you just click somewhere and drag let's say I just wanted his head right there and so it comes such as that um, what I just did there to quickly get away from it is I hit control then Z. The eyedropper tool is it picks up the color right here so let's say I wanted this white it puts the color right there and so I can just go around <coughs> go around with my brush and I can paint that exact color. And uh just gonna hit undo. The this section right here is uh, all about patching and healing. 
So um, what a patch does, let's say if you mess up somewhere, um, you can just go on your layer. Um, make sure that the first one is selection, selected, and then all you do is just click and drag around it. It's like the lasso tool, except afterwards, once you're done with it, you click on it and drag it somewhere, and it fills in that spot that you want it to be done with. So, as you can see, I just removed it, except it leaves behind this trace that you can't really get rid of. Excuse me. Um, your brush tool, of course, is uh, what you have right here. You can right-click and you can do a pencil, which is just, well, that thin. Then you have your brush tool, which is right here. And uh, <coughs> these are your preset brushes. You can find more if you hit this right here and hit assorted, basics, color graph, drop shadow. And you can just go through all those if you wanted to add some. So let's say I wanted to add assorted brushes to it this will come up and you'll hit append and now instead of just erasing all your previous ones it brings in these ones as well but I've only used the default one so I'm going to go back to basic alright um, you got your clone stamp right here so how clone stamp works is um, I'm actually going to get rid of this so Alright, um, clone stamp, what you're going to do is uh, find a general area that you want to replace something with and you hold alt, you find your selected part, so let's say I want this, and when you're dragging over, you see that you brought that exact place that you just had. So let's say I want that up there, <coughs> just put it on, except see when you're clicking it shows uh, the area, the area with that cursor that you're going to be highlighting, and eventually you can erase it to get a background that you want. But if you go down, then you hit that red mark right there, and uh, then it's not that good. So, yeah, your pattern stamp is uh, right here. Those are your preset ones. Again, you can always go in and hit that arrow and find some more of them so let's say I wanted bubbles I think they're bubbles at least you just click and go over and there they are alright your history and art brush I have never used so I really don't know what um, you can do with them and uh, your eraser tool so basic eraser if you have like a blank document or whatever with a background in the back so let's um, make a new layer let's say I want a custom shape and I want an arrow but my background is black you can hit the right click and hit magic eraser tool and if you click doesn't matter just click anywhere on the back or whatever, it just erase it completely. So if I merge these together, unlock it, and then hit that, it erases the whole background. Um, paint bucket or your background eraser tool does the same thing. It just erases that area, or it's just like an eraser, I should say. Your paint bucket tool or your gradient. If you use gradient, you can just click that right there and it brings up all this you can make your own so let's say I wanted that this about 50 percent so location at 50 but then at 100 I want it to be white <coughs> so you have it at 0, 50, then 100 I'm gonna put this actually halfway and you can name it whatever so new and then just make new and then it's right there and if you click somewhere in the middle and drag up or down you get your effect but it's better to go fully across like so and then you
you get the full effect. Pain bucket, pretty self-explanatory. Um, your blurs, sm sharpen, and smudge. Smudge, you can add your effects by clicking this up here. And then it's pretty simple. Um, that completes uh, part one. Um, I'll get more into that later in part two.